Good evening my YouTube friends and family. We are back with some solar upgrades. Uh, some of the stuff that I did to uh, the system, of course, I got me a new Kong Elite Max by Big Battery. And uh, that is accompanied with my four existing Husky batteries by uh, Big Battery. Um, very expensive, arm and a leg. Uh, to get this thing, but uh, I am a uh, not real solar minded individual. Uh, so uh, for me the benefit to these batteries are uh, plug and play. Uh, I just plug them in, they got the BMS in them, and uh, it kind of takes care of itself. Now this uh, Kong battery does have some uh, RS485 uh, cables uh, I might venture into seeing about uh, connecting uh, it uh, to the inverters, um, but I'm not real sure about what's going on with that. So that's kind of why uh, I went with this system. Um, I do uh, want to do my own battery build in the future, uh, but for me that entails uh, a lot of research and uh, trying to figure out uh, connections and things like that. But um, let's get into this. I'll show you uh, just what we did for upgrades and uh, I'll see you at the end. Battery delivery. Alright, there she is. The Kong Elite Max. <laughs> Big battery. Inside. We got her inside. Now we just got to get her up them steps. This is the... Uh, second feet which uh we'll do at a later date but uh there she is big battery inside all right there she is in her new home she's not permanently set in there yet but uh cool we are up here in the solar room and of course the solar room is on the second story so how you get a 600 pound battery up flight of steps Ooh, a lot of a lot of back breaking got a strap and we did some planks on the steps so that's how we got her up here all right so here we are we got uh, everything powered down um, PV turned off, uh, breaker in the uh, main panel uh, for bypass mode uh, turned off, everything is uh, turned down, uh, turned off and uh, we're going to let these uh, units try to dissipate a little bit and uh, we're going we're gonna to get into this thing, we're going to try to uh, put the new bus bars in, the DC kit disconnects today and possibly even removing the grounding screw uh, from uh, one of these inverters so and I'm gonna do all this with my father-in-law so stick around it might get interesting alright so here we are got the batteries out of there um, we're gonna try to uh, set it up really in the uh, same area I'm not gonna try to change a bunch of this stuff I just want to uh, uh, put the bus bars in uh, put the new bus bars in. I'm going to put them in the same location. Uh, one here, one here. I'm going to put my DC disconnects uh, somewhere here and here. And uh, try to use all the same cabling. Uh, just uh, cut and modify as needed. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, try to get everything hooked back up. So far here we are. We got the bus bars mounted. Uh, we got the DC uh, disconnects mounted. Um, we are getting ready to uh, do the uh, positive cables. So hopefully everything uh, so far so good. I had to make up a couple new cables um, to get from uh, my uh, fuses up to the positive bus bar. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, 
All that did was uh, bought me this uh, handy dandy uh, hammer lug crimper. Uh, worked awesome uh, for uh, lugs, and this was uh, this was a link I actually got off of uh, Gavin Stone DIY Homestead. Uh, it was a link to uh, Amazon. Uh, you get a nice uh, five foot piece of uh, two aught cable. Um, you get uh, five uh, five sixteenths lugs and five three eighths lugs, I believe. And you get a sleeve of uh, get a sleeve of uh, shrink wrap tape, uh, shrink tape, uh, which worked out pretty good. So I'm getting ready to uh, hook these cables up. I just thought I'd share and. Uh, I will leave uh, links to uh, this cable uh, down in the description. All right, so here we are. I'm uh, we're hooking up uh, all these uh, battery connections to the uh, to the bus bar. But what I found kind of odd, and let me know what you guys think, is all these cables that I got for the Huskies are here. We go. These are all. Uh, one aught cables uh, that they sent me for the four huskies and then when I just got the new Kong this Kong cable is number four American wire gauge and the uh, connector man it's just it's not like what those other ones are but uh, I just thought that was kind of odd but this is the cable that they sent with it um, all right, well, there she is. I got uh, four Husky terminals and then the Kong terminal. Um, DC, that's uh, all done. All hooked up. Let's put the, the cover on the wireway and uh, before we move all these batteries in spot and we're uh, ready to roll. All right, there we are. All set back up. All the loads put back on. Um, everything's done now except for some cleanup. I got to red up the room here, but everything was pretty successful. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of like, I don't know, um, is this battery cable off this Kong battery. This for American wire gauge when every other connector is one aught. So let me know what you think in the comments on that. Um, but other than that, everything went great. Uh, this side turned out all right because the batteries are so short. But um, this Kong battery is so big, I got to move it out of the way in order to get to my disconnects and uh, PV disconnect back there which I guess isn't a real big deal but I'd like to see if uh, something's tripped on well, there. Well there you go that is uh, what I had done here today uh, it took me about uh, four hours uh, with the help of my father-in-law uh, we didn't get any into any fights, but uh, he did uh, put the uh, DC uh, breaker upside down originally. We had to fix that. So that's right, Steve. I don't have it on camera, but you did that, buddy. So uh, components, and I might have already said this, and I apologize if I repeat myself. Uh, can't remember what all I was going today. I was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty hectic uh, uh, trying to get this done, but. Um, we have a uh, uh, 12 lug connection, uh, bus bars, uh, 600 amp from Signature Solar. Um, we have uh, a Nader or Natter uh, DC disconnect, uh, 60 volts, uh, 200 amp uh, DC disconnect. Uh, thank you, Gavin. I've seen that on your channel. And of course, I'm, I'm going to follow you, brother. So, uh, and then I did get some. Uh, Two aught uh, cabling uh, via Gavin's uh, links in his uh, page um, from Amazon. 
and all that worked out good. I had gotten one length, whacked it in half, and then used it to uh, connect everything up. So, um, let's see, what else? Did I forget and anything? And of course, uh, the uh, big battery, uh, 48 volt uh, Kong Elite Max. Uh, this thing is uh, 19 uh, kilowatt hours uh, battery, 48 volt, uh, uh, Pro Life or Life Pro 4, uh, 372 amp hours, um, continuous discharge current, 150 amps, uh, continuous power, uh, 7,500 watts, uh, max discharge peak current uh, for six seconds, uh, 350 amps, and then uh, max charge current is 90 amps. So. Uh, this big boy is uh, actually it's a, a little smaller than uh, my four Huskies, but uh, I will also put in here <laughs> getting this thing up to my second story. Uh, that was not fun. So uh, when you think about batteries, uh, you know I was not thinking about getting this thing up into this solar room uh, when I bought it. It really didn't occur to me until uh, I seen it in the back of the truck and then uh, taking it off the lift gate and sitting it out front. So at that point I thought, oh, I gotta get this thing up the steps. So uh, we did, we, my, my wife's laughing at me. We did a little uh, skid ramp. Uh, I screwed some uh, 1 by 12s to the, to the stairs and we gently laid it back pulled it and pushed it up the stairs. Um, I don't think I have any of the actual moving in here, but um, I'll show you some pictures of that. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions on what I did, uh, I will put uh, uh, some links in the description of uh, this equipment. Uh, I believe uh, Gavin has a uh, an associate link with Signature Solar. Uh, so go over to his channel because I tried to do it through the link. I don't know if it was successful, Gavin. I apologize if you didn't uh, get a little uh, change off of uh, me getting this uh, equipment. I'm sure it's not much, but every little bit helps. But a big thank you uh, to you as well as Adam. I appreciate you guys uh, very much. So that's all we got for today. Uh, I thank you to all the fathers. Happy Father's Day. And until we meet again, my friends, always remember to smile because God loves you.